Exhale and fold. Bring your chin to your chest. Come up halfway. Take your shoulder right back. Good. Fold again as you exhale. Inhale your arms up. Exhale your right arm down and then bend with the left arm, you're gonna to bend towards the right. You're just gonna reach up and across. You can just do the same side I, I am doing, it doesn't matter. Inhale, that arm that was down, which is the right. Extend the right arm down, left arm down, stretch towards the left with your right arm. Good. Up and away. Good. Now bring the left arm up. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale and fold. Inhale halfway, take your shoulder blades back. Good. Exhale, fold. Pin to the chest and then take your arms up over your head. And then just take your arms out to the side. Go wide with your feet, probably maybe as wide as your mat. It doesn't matter if you don't have your pads this way. Just go wide with the feet. We're gonna do five squats. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put your feet closer together with the right leg. We're gonna just stand, holding ourselves with the left, and open up our hips. We're gonna go five, four, three, two, one. And let's go with the left side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your arms up, over, reach up, and then press, bring them both down, forward. Inhale up, forward. Exhale down, forward. When you take your arms up, take your shoulder blades back. Exhale down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Right leg goes back into a lunge. Just hold it here, we're just gonna do small pumps. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch, left leg back. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on our mat. We're gonna be on our mats for a while, but don't get there yet. We're gonna do one exercise, then we're gonna go on our mats. We're gonna be on our hands and on our knees. If it's too much on your knees or on your wrists, you can do all these exercises standing up, holding on to something. As you can hold on to the back of your chair or wherever you're at, okay? So let's start off with um, 10 X jumps. What we're gonna do is gonna squat with your right hand, you're gonna touch your left foot or ankle, jump up. You don't have to jump up. You can just get on your tippy toes or you can just get, just stand up, all right? You have those variations. You can then jump, you can just tippy toe or, or just stand up. We're gonna do 10 total. So one, two, three, four, all the way to 10. Ready? And let's go. Squat first, turn, twist, and jump. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, And one. Now we're gonna go on our mats. So again, you can do this on your chair, holding onto the chair. We're gonna get on our mats. Let me show you sideways. We're gonna get on a tabletop. And with our knees bent, we're gonna do 20 fire hydrants with the le right leg. So we're gonna be on our right leg for six exercises. We're gonna stand up, go back on the mat. Those six exercises, we're gonna go on the left side, okay? So hands and knees. Are you going to stand up? And we're going to do 20 of them. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Now we're gonna say that same knee, right knee is gonna bring it into your chest and then kick it back for 20. Here we go. Into your chest and kick back. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 
14, squeeze, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now, right leg. Remember, we're showing that right leg. This is exercise 3, a total of 6. We're going to do the fire hydrant, but this time the fire hydrant we're going to follow with a kick. Try to keep that kick like an L, not back here. Don't open up and kick back here. Try to go as parallel as you can, or perpendicular. Here we go. Ready? Fire hydrant, kick. Good. For 20. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. I already feel it. Six, seven. Keep that kick up high. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. There you go. You might want to go sit back, move a little bit. Same leg, right leg. Flex your foot. We're going to pump it up for 20. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Now, right leg. Extend it. Extend it all the way. Like if you're just tapping your toe, you might have to lean a little bit to the left. And we're going to lift up. Try to do a straight leg. Here we go for 20. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Same leg. Circles one way, ten circles one way, ten big circles the other way. Here we go. Again, keep to the left. Ready? Point that toe. Big circles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go the other way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, this is where we stand up. That was number six. Stand up. Same thing we did at the beginning, the X jumps. We're gonna do 10 total again. Squat first on the squat. When you're low on the squat is when you twist. When you twist and tap your ankle or your foot. Here we go, ready? Squat, twist, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, now, left side, get on hands and knees. Again, you have the option of the chair. We're gonna do fire hydrants first. Here we go for 10, I mean, so 20. One, two, three, four, five, six,
10, 9, squeeze those glutes, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. Fire hydrant with a kick to the side. So up, keep it up, and kick. Let's go for 20. Up, kick, bring it back. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Yes. Now we're going to do the kick, the pumps. So flex your foot and your knee, and we're going to go up for 20. Here you go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Woo! We have two more exercises. We have the foot extended. Take your left foot, extend it, lean towards a little bit to the right if you want. Point that left foot, and we're gonna go up and up. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Last one. Circles one way, ten circles the other way. Last one on this left. Three, two, and one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go the other way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back. Take your, your hips. Take it to the right. Come back to the center. Take it to the left. Good. Let's stand up. And let's do 20 of the X jumps. Here we go. Ready? Squat first. Twist. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice job, everyone. All right. We're going to now. I'm going to set up my timer. I'm going to set up my timer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put 45 seconds on and, 10, and 15 seconds rest. And what we're going to do is we're going to do... One, two, three, five exercises. Again, you go at your own pace. You do what you can. There's always modifications. And we're going to go. I'm going to put the timer on for 20 minutes. The next one is 25. All right? So you do what you can. You take a break, whatever you can. But come back and join us. All right? Let me get my timer. All right, I think I got it right. So let me show you the five exercises. The five exercises, we're gonna stay low in a squat. We're gonna move five, one way laterally in the low squat. One, two, three, four, five, and move back. Five, four, three, two, and one. And that low squat for 45 seconds, that's number one. The second one is, we're going to go wide, we're going to squat, and then straight leg, we're going to kick back. Squat, kick back. I'll show you sideways. Squat, kick, squat, kick. Alternating kicks. Uh, third exercise, push-ups. Your choice on knees, no knees. You can do narrow push-ups. 
He said you can hold a plank as long as you engage your core as well. The fourth exercise is a Superman with your hands behind your head. So we're gonna lay on our belly, our hands are behind our head, and we're gonna lift up. Let me show you. And, up, and you wanna look down, okay? So, let me move up. Buzz, 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 buzz. So here, hands behind your head, looking down, you're gonna lift up, legs come off, and rest. Inhale up, exhale down. So our inhale and exhale are gonna be one count. Then, the last one is for 45 seconds. Imagine you have a jump rope, and even if you don't want to jump, have your foot for 45 seconds. Raise your hands if you have any questions. You need any modification? You guys are good? Fine. All right. Here we go. Again, 20 minutes. So if you have to stop, you can stop and rest and just join us. The first one is the low squat, walking laterally five, laterally five. I chose five laterally. So I, can, so I can be on the video and I can see you guys. Okay, ready? On three, two, one, and let's go. Low squat, five, four, three, two, and one. And the other way. So I'll be watching. There you go, keep going, five. I'm just looking to see wherever I end up on the end of the screen. That's where I know pretty much five is at. We're halfway, try to stay low. You can also put your hands on your waist, keeping that, keeping those glutes back. We have 15 more seconds. Keep it low. Almost staying on your heels. We have five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Stand up. And that's what we're going to do is we're going to squat and kick back. We have 10 more seconds to rest. Remember, we are going for 45 seconds, then take a rest for 10 or 15. That's a minute. On three, two, one. Squat, kick back. Squat, kick back. You can do a jump if you want. It's up to you. For 45 seconds. Try to straighten out that leg when you extend it back so you can squeeze your glutes. 20 more seconds. Fifteen. Ten more seconds. If your knees start hurting you, you can just kick it back. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to go on our mats and do the push-up. Seven seconds. We're going to start. In three, two, and one. Do the best you can. If you need to, you get on your knees. Remember to keep your chest up. Try not to strain your neck. So your chest is what hits the goes to the mat first. 20 seconds left. Ten more seconds. And you have a choice, so you can hold up yourself up in a plane too. As long as you keep active and engage that core for these 45 seconds. And stop. Stay on your belly, and we're gonna do the Superman. Hands behind your head. Remember to keep looking down. And three, two, and one. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, down, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Use your breath, you don't have to go along with mine. Inhale through your nose and exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Follow your breath. Squeeze those glutes when you come up. Keep looking down. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Six more seconds. Almost done. On three, two, 
One push back in the child's pose. Take your glutes all the way back. Good. Stand up. And let's jump rope in place. On three, two, one. Then you have a jump rope. Go. Only jump up was this easy, but you don't get tangled. Good job, everybody. And you don't have to actually do the jump rope hands. You can, you can dance. Eight more seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one. That's round one. We have three more rounds. Ready? We're going to start off with a low squat. We're going out five laterally. Shoulder blades back. Lift up that chest. Three, two, one. Let's go. Go. Twenty six seconds left. Below. Hands on your waist too, if you want. Hands behind your head. Hands over your head. More challenging. Anytime you put your arms over your head is challenging. A little bit more cardio. Eight more seconds. Three. Two, and one. Good job. The squat with the kickbacks. Get ready again. You want to challenge yourself a little bit more? Arms up over your head. On three, two, one. Kick it back. Just make sure that if your arms are over your head, that your arms don't fall forward when you squat. It'll put strain on your back. So if you're worried about it, keep your hands on your waist. If you're worried that that's gonna happen, be safe and keep your hands on your waist. 20 more seconds. 15, straight leg back. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the push-ups. Again, if you find yourself having a hard time completing them, just hold yourself in a plank, even on your knees. And thrust your hips in, ready, on three, two, and one. Keep your chest up. Thirty seconds left. Nice. I see some of you holding the plank. Beautiful. That's it. You have to stop. Stop. But hold yourself up. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds. Got this. Three, two, one. Stay on the mat and let's do our Superman. Hands behind your head. Looking down as you inhale and exhale down through your nose using your breath as, as a guide. If I go too slow or too fast, just pay attention to yourself. Don't bother me. Don't worry about me. Don't mind me. Inhale up. Exhale down. And sometimes doing this, after an exercise that gets your heart rate up, sometimes you have a hard time breathing through your nose. So just slowly go up. And if you have to exhale through your mouth, exhale through your mouth. 15 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
And one, great job, push back in the child's pose. Stand up. And let's get ready for our jump rope. On three, two, one. You, know, you can use one foot at a time, jog, you can do high knees, as long as you get your heart rate up a little bit on this one. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. That was round two. We have two more rounds left. We're going to start in 10 seconds. You can take a break. We're going to start with our low squats. Walking laterally. Shoulder blades back on three, two, one. Let's get our five. Again, keep your hands on your waist or extend them. Remember, if you send them, take them back to your ears so that your lower back doesn't get any or so you don't come into any pain with your back. It's good to challenge yourself every once in a while, but in that challenging aspect, you don't want to hurt your back. Pay attention to be aware of everything and how your body feels. Seven more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go squat with a kickback. Here we go. Ready on three, two, one. Squat, kickback. Excellent kickback. Just keep going. See if they finished. Somebody stuck by me. Yeah. Hold on, keep going. Timer's still going. Keep going. Timer's still going. Oh, it's coming in. Three, two, and one. Good, stop. Let's get on our mats. Get ready for the push-ups. I saw some of you holding that plank. That was excellent. Ready, three, two, one. Here we go. Keep that chest. Keeping that chest up. Good. Try not to bring your head or chin down to the floor. Chest first. There you go. Yes. Three, two, and one. Good. Stay on your belly. Hands on your head, behind your head. You're gonna come up on the Superman. On three, two, and one. Good. Again, use your breath. Good, and keep looking down. When you come up, look down. 28 seconds left. Three seconds left. 
two, one. Push back in a child's pose. Good. Push back in a child's pose. Let's stand up. Let's get the jump ropes ready and go. You can also do the tap with your heel. As long as you keep moving. 15 seconds left. Eight more seconds. Keep moving. Keep going. Three, two, and one. We have one more round. We're going to start off in 10 seconds. On that low squat, walking laterally on three, two, and one. That's it. Staying low. Good. Fifteen more seconds. And more seconds. Keeping it low. Three, two, and one. Excellent. I like how some of you kept those arms up. Ten seconds. We're going to go and squat with our kickbacks. On three, two, and one. Squeeze those glutes, kick back, straight leg. Everybody's okay? Fifteen seconds left. Good squats. See nice forms. Stay back on the heels. Six seconds left. Three, two, and one. Last on the push-ups. Let's do it. You might have to start um, um, a little quicker on the planks at this point. On three, two, and one. Keeping that chest up. Thirty seconds left. Twenty seconds. Ten more seconds. The last of the push-ups. Seven. Three. Two. One. All right. Stay on our bellies. You guys are doing great. Do it. Hands behind your head. On three, two, and one. Inhale and exhale. As you come up, take your shoulder blades back, chest is forward, and you're looking down. Squeezing those glutes as you come up. Try not to bend those knees. Straight legs. Sweat your own face. 20 seconds left. 15. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
And one, push back. Into a child's pose. Come back on your hands. Actually, come up and stand up. We're going to do the last of the jump ropes. On three, two, and one. Last one. Stop. Twenty-five seconds left. Go. Fifteen seconds. Go as fast as you can now. Get that jump, jump rope, and go as fast as you can. We have five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Great job. Finished. Now, take a break. Take a two minute break. And I'm gonna show you what we do. This is the circuit. This is the circuit that you need the chair. sideways and then I'll put it forward. We can do, let's say, uh, left leg is going to stay down. Right leg is going to stay, you're going to extend that right leg and you're going to keep your heel on the floor. Right, and then you're going to sit up and then with the left leg forward lunge. Come back and then sit down. So up, left leg forward, back, and down. That's one way. Actually, let me take it back. You're gonna do a forward lunge with that right leg. Take it back, so ready? Heels down, lift, and then step out forward more. Bring it back, and then sit down. The reason the right leg goes forward because that's one of the modifications. The other one is your foot is off the floor. You're gonna lean forward, but take your butt back and your shoulder blades back. Come up on one leg, right leg goes forward into a forward lunge. Push back, try to work on that balance and sit down without that right foot stepping on the floor. So you have that one as an option. So again, right heel down if you wanna do that one, stand up. Put their right heel down with their right leg, go a little more forward, and then come back up. Press yourself up, heel goes back, and you sit back down. The more challenging one is leg is always up. You come up, you step forward into a lunge, bend that back knee down, keep your balance, and sit back down, right? We're gonna do 45 seconds, so this is at your own pace. You decide which one you wanna do, but the right leg is the one that's going to a forward lunge. We're going to do 45 seconds with the right going forward, and then we're going to switch 45 seconds with the left going forward. After that, you're going to need your chair again, and we're going to lay on our back. The heel, your heel is going to be on the chair. We're going to do two things with our feet. One of them is hands down, and we're going to come up into a bridge and then spread your legs out, you know, abduct your legs, come back to the center and down. Let me get a little bit of more at an angle so you can see it. So up in a bridge, open up like a clam and down. So up, clam, together, down. Again, everything's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Then after that one, we're gonna stay in this position and it doesn't matter which leg goes first, I always work on the right leg first. So left leg is staying on the, bed, on the chair, Heel down, and you're gonna feel it immediately 
on your, on your left hamstring, on that leg that's holding you up on that chair. If you're getting cramps, too, too much, like really intense cramps on one leg, then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna keep both legs down. Both heels down, instead of one leg at a time, All right? And this one, instead of doing 45 seconds with one leg, 45 seconds on the, on the other, I'm splitting up halfway, because it's a, rock, it's a lot on the, on the hamstrings, All right? So, so far, we have sitting on the chair to a forward lunge, 45 seconds on the right, 45 seconds on the left, on our back, in a 90 degree angle, heels on the chair, laying on our back. We're gonna do both feet up in a bridge, and we're gonna pull apart, come back together and down. The next one's a single leg, about 22 seconds each leg. And then the last one is, we're going to sit on the chair, and then we're going to jump. Sit back down and jump. And sit back down and jump, all right? If you don't wanna jump, just come up, tippy toe, raise your arms, and sit back down, all right? It's just like a tap. Try not to like sit down and rest. Just tap and up, all right? Any questions? Everybody good? All right, here we go. Let me get the timer on again. Remember, we're starting with sitting on the bench, I mean, sitting on the chair. Left foot down, right leg either heel down or up in the air. Here we go on three, two, and one. Up, forward lunge, press back, and sit. Remember, you're on your own time. If you feel this too much on that left knee, what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit, you keep both legs down on the ground, then you step out into a forward lunge. Put your feet together and sit back down, all right? So you shouldn't feel any pain, any discomfort on that knee. If you do, raise your hand, wave at me, and I will modify. I'll help you change it up so you don't feel any discomfort. All right, switch legs, sit back down. Now your right, right leg is down. Remember to stay on that heel. Left foot now extends. On three, two, one. Left foot forward in the lunge. And come back and sit down. There you go. And if you feel something on your right leg, on your right knee, both, knees, both feet down, stand up and then left foot forward. Bring that left foot back together and sit back down. We have 20 more seconds, 25. We have 10 more seconds. Working on that balance, stability, core, legs, glutes. Great, now, time is up. Lay on your back. If you don't have a chair, don't worry, just put your feet down. Put your feet down on the floor, and you're doing the same thing without the chair. Up in the bridge, pull apart, come back together, down. You don't need a chair. Come up as high as you can. Seconds. 
on three, two, and one switch. Left leg goes up. And leg stays on the bench or on the chair. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Slowly sit up. Good, make sure you're not dizzy. And let's sit back on our chair. Ready? And let's jump up on the squat. Try to just tap and jump up. Love to see those arms up. 20 seconds left. Try to keep those feet on the ground when you sit back down. Keeping those feet glued to the floor when you sit down. There you go. And good. Here we go, two more rounds. Sitting back on the chair. Extend that right leg. Okay, keeping the heel down, remember extending the leg. Here we go. And forward. And back. Thirty seconds left. When you stand up, squeeze that left glute. Fifteen seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Rest, start extending that left leg, keeping that right leg down. Three, two, and one. Good job. You determine whether you need to put that foot down or Keep it up. My floor is slippery, so when I come back, keep my heel down so I don't miss the chair. I don't have it on my mat. 13 seconds left. I see some of you with your arms up. Nice job. Like that. And rest. Stay on our backs, both feet up. Five, four, three, two, one. Up on the bridge, clam together, nice and controlled. Nice and controlled, keeping the back of your shoes, so the heels on the chair. Come up as high as you can. So many people are walking around the neighborhood, which is so awesome. Like I see people I haven't seen ever. But now my dogs bark all day long. I'm sure you hear them. 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Stay here. Left foot on the chair or wherever you want. Remember, you can go on the floor too if you feel it too much. On five, four, three, two, one. Nice and controlled. You don't have to do this fast at all. In 10 seconds, we switch legs. Three, two, 
One, switch. Push. Keeping that right leg down. Keeping that right hamstring. Three more seconds. Two. And one. Nice. Go. Oh, yes. Slowly sit up. Sit back down. Five seconds. We'll start with the squat. Finishing round three. And we have one more round. And go. Jumping up. Those arms up. Hey, Ava, where's Ava? Ava's a cutie two year old. Hey, Ava, baby. I love you, Ava. Come on. I love you all. Three, two, one. Sit back on the chair, last round. We have 15 seconds to take a break before we finish the last round. Some of you are outside and I see the beautiful sky. Spectacular. Here we go. Right leg up. Forward lunge. Push back. And sit back down. Focus on going straight down so that your right knee, right ankle, align. Good. Again, if you're getting tired, keep that right heel down before you go out to that forward lunge. 10 more seconds on the right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get ready for the left. Nice deep breath in. Exhale slowly. Two and one. Go. Push up. Nice and slow. Watching that balance. Working on maybe trying to stay up on that right leg. Holding that balance before you go up in that forward lunge. Working on that core. 20 seconds left. Thirteen seconds left. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's lay on our backs. With your feet. On three, two, one, up, pull apart, come back together, and down. Up as high as you can, open up, together, and down. Now when you do this, you want to look up straight up. You want to look to your side so you don't straighten your neck. Again, come up as high as you can, slam, and come back down. 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Stay here. Keep your right foot down. Actually, extend your right foot. Keep your left foot down. Again, remember your options, especially if your hamstrings are really burning up now. Keep your feet on the floor, then not on the chair. And let's go up. Remember, it's about 22 seconds, and then we switch to Again, slowly come up as high as you can. Keeping that left heel down. Five more seconds. 
and then switch. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Sit up. Wait until you don't feel dizzy. If you do, and then sit back on your chair. Just do the last squats on those chairs, those jump squats. On three, two, one. Let's do it. Last one before we stretch. Want. This is the last round, so you can go faster. So it's up, tap, up, tap, just tap. Just feel the hamstrings on the chair and tap. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Just tap. If you need to, you rock back. Ten more seconds. Woo. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Excellent, guys. Nice job. Let's stretch now. Wait two minutes. Get some water. Let your heart rates go down. as much as you can. Inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, round your back, bring your chin to your chest. One more time, inhale, drop your belly, look up. Exhale, round your back. Donna, you can do the standing up too. All right now, let's stand for a second. You might want to hold on to maybe the chair if you need to. Hold on to the chair, grab your right leg, bring your heel as close as you can to your glutes, thrust your hips in, and squeeze that belly in, and you feel a nice stretch right here in your hip flexors. Good. Take your shoulder blades back, open up that chest. In this position, especially when I open up my chest, it reminds me of how grateful I am to still feel good and see all and seeing all of you. Okay, switch legs. So bring that left leg as close as you can to the right. Thrust your hips in, keeping that left leg parallel to the right. Shoulder blades back. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose and slowly exhale through your nose. And when you take a deep breath in again through your nose, I want you to pay attention. Are you breathing in through your nose and using your chest to breathe or are you using your belly? At this point, see if you can, when you inhale, use your belly and expand your belly as you inhale. I try to teach my mom this and she's like, wait, this is like the opposite. She feels it's the opposite. So inhale through your nose, expand your belly, exhale and squeeze that belly in. Release your hands, your feet. Donna and Sophie, you guys have a chair? You don't have anything, you do? If not, if you don't have anything, what you're gonna do is, if you have a chair, you're gonna hold on to the back of the chair and you're gonna step back as long as your arms are straight, stick out those glutes and your head is going to be in between your arms. If you don't have a chair, you're gonna do the same thing and just extend your arms. Like if you had 
the chair, but your arms keep them close to your ears, right? And we're gonna do that. So here's with a chair, and here's without a chair. And we're just gonna extend, and then if you're holding on to the chair, release the hands from the chair, and then stand up and take your shoulder blades back. So it's all, take it back, and then come up. So if you have a chair, you can hold on to the chair. If not, just make sure your arms are straight and next to your ears. Speed up. So two more. Take it back. No. Four. And stand back. Good. If you have a chair, use a chair. If you don't, you're going to get on the floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a a uh, pigeon pose. So you can go to the right. Let's see if I can show you. you. Take your right leg, put it down like your knees are going down, rest it on the chair, and take, it, take your foot forward. If not, you do it on your mat. It's the same thing. Do you feel it? Here and back. Put you, like all your weight on forward on your leg. You got it, Melissa. You got it. Hold on. Yeah. There you go. And then you extend that left leg as far back as you can, getting a nice stretch on your glutes here. If not, you do it on the mat. Hold it there. Good. And then switch. Now the left, take that right foot back, take a nice deep breath in through your nose, again expanding your belly, and exhale slowly. Good. Lift yourself up. Now we're gonna get on our mats and we're gonna push back into a child's pose. So sit back, heels all, your glutes all the way back to your heels. Try to keep your arms straight, get a nice stretch underneath your armpits. Keep your forehead on the mat. Stay here for three breaths. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale, exhale three. Good. Sit back on your heels. You're gonna take your feet, swing them out to the side, lay on your back, and we're gonna just gonna rest in Shavasana. So just lay back. And when you lay back, you can put your hands next to your side with your palms up if you would like. And make sure that your legs are really relaxed and the way you know that is when your legs just go to the side and flop to the side. Relaxing your hands next to your side, Sophie. There you go, just relax. Stay here for one more minute. all the sounds that are around us. Take your arms and start bringing it up over your head, behind your head. Get a nice stretch, 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 stretch. 
and slowly start bringing in your knees one at a time. Those of us who are on our knees, you can sit up and bring your knees to your chest, lifting up your chest. Holding on back to, onto your thighs, you're gonna roll up and you're gonna sit up, slowly sit up. Butterfly your feet. Holding onto your ankles, you're gonna inhale, lengthen your spine, take your shoulder blades back, lift up your chest. And exhale, round your back, straightening out the arms. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Good. Bring your feet closer together, whichever way you sit up. Inhale, your arms up. Take a nice deep breath in. Right hand goes to the floor, left hand goes over your head towards the right. Inhale the right arm up. Ex exhaling your left. Bend your right arm straight, stretch over. Meeting your right hand, bringing down both arms to heart center. In this moment, thank you all for joining and keeping busy and keeping healthy. Listen, it's really hard. I'm having a hard time too, not eating those snacks and everything we have. So it's not just about exercise, but it's always it's also being aware of what we're feeding our bodies. So the same way we're taking care of ourselves with our exercise, uh, keeping busy or keeping being, staying creative with our minds, we also have to be aware with the food that we put into our mouths and uh, what we're feeding ourselves. We need to stay healthy during this time, right? So I'm here at your service anytime you need it for anything, right? So good to see you all. I love you all. Thursday, we're gonna do it again Thursday, okay? Yes. All right, love you guys. Bye. 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 Say bye. Bye, Maribel, I love you. Bye, love you. I don't know how to leave this. Oh, oh, is that is that Joaquin? Yeah, Joaquin is here. Hi, Joaquin. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good oh, no. So good to see you. Bye. Bye, Bye Linda. See you Thursday. Yeah. See you Thursday. Great job.